Hey you guys, I'm Lauren Holly, also known as Graphic Nation. That's graphic with a K all over the interwebs. You can follow me on Instagram um, or you can join me for a photo meetup in Atlanta sometime. I am the founder and organizer for Atlanta Urban Photo Walkers, which is the largest photography meetup group in Atlanta. So the reason I wanted to make this video today is because I am obsessed with the moon. I don't know if you follow me on Instagram or if you are familiar with my photography at all, but I have been chasing the moon for kind of a long time. And my dream goal is to be able to capture an image of like a big moon coming up behind the city where it's like intersecting with the buildings. And I haven't achieved it yet, but I am on my way there and I feel confident that I'm gonna get it soon. I'm slightly crushed that I have plans tonight and I'm not gonna be able to go out and shoot the full moon on Friday the 13th, which is absolutely devastating, but it is what it is. So I went out last night and I tried to get some pictures of the almost full moon rising over the city from a vantage point where it's pretty far away, a nice hilltop overlooking the city of Atlanta. And I did finally achieve something uh, that was a first for me. And I'll show that to you now. This image right here shows in one frame with no editing and no compositing, the full moon over the Bank of America building, dead center perfect. No joke, I have not manipulated this in any other way other than sort of basic edits in Lightroom just to try and fully achieve like the best looking image because there's two reasons that this photo is not good enough for me and that I have to keep going. And those reasons are number one, the moon is really high in the sky um, and it just barely fits everything in my view here. Um, and number two, it was so hazy that the visibility was really, really poor. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you what this image looked like before my edit. So that's my straight out of camera image right there. And you can sort of see the before and after. So straight out of camera, Lightroom edit, to get the best looking shot. So anyway, I achieved a first for, for me, um, but the really exciting thing comes in with this image here. So as the night progressed, the moon was moving pretty fast and eventually the moon was over this section of downtown. So I couldn't any longer fit the moon and the city in one shot. So of course what I did, which is what I normally do a lot, is I shot the moon in one frame and then I shot the city in one frame. Now these were shot with the same lens at the same focal length. There was no manipulation. I didn't change the scale. Um, the only thing that I did was pull these two images into Photoshop and place the moon at the same scale that it appeared right over the buildings. So this is, for me, it's the closest I've ever achieved to getting like a really nice full on like moon over the city shot with a big moon. So yes, still a little devastated about not being able to shoot Friday the 13th full moon, but I just feel super happy that I'm getting closer to my goal. And hopefully the next time I post a moon video, um, I will have an intersecting moon with the city in the background. And I guess just for you uh, camera, camera nerds out there who are like me and want to know, I shot this on a Pentax KS2, which is a crop sensor APS-C camera. And the lens that I used was a Pentax 300 millimeter lens, which is equivalent to about 450 millimeters on a full frame. Uh, so that's how I achieved this shot. I went, uh, I think about 15 miles away from the city here and that's what I did. So that's it for today. Thank you for watching. So give me a thumbs up if you liked this video or even better, give me a follow and I'll make some more videos and I'll see you next time.